All right, we got advanced salvaging there. Yeah, yeah. She wrote in her journal. That's awesome. Um, get in through here. What do we got here? Badass. Save that person from salvage, you know. But uh, it's it's yeah. It's when I don't handle things like calmly that I just tend to get pissed. Days have passed since the plane crash. For a second time, we attempted to escape by boat with disastrous results. I knew it would happen, just like the first time. The calm sea turned hostile with no explanation. The moment we made for open water, the winds picked up, followed by an impossible wave. Like a child's toy, our lifeboat was smashed violently into the rocky shore. Now, two more lie dead, and another is wounded beyond help. The others are starting to panic, and they're looking to me for a plan. I do have one, but it doesn't include them. They're weak and stupid, a liability in this place. I suggested they make another attempt to leave, but I won't join them. To do so would be suicide. This is clear to me now. Fucking Matthias. Like, obviously shady bro when we first meet him. Um. Yeah, and by pissed I mean like, I just, I... It always tends to, like, put me in a situation where I wind up handling it in a way that I'm like, damn, why did I do that or say that, you know? And so, I don't know. It's, it, I, you know... I, I work at a job that can get kind of stressful sometimes. Let's go. Oh shit! Looks like a smaller group escaped to the lower forest. Maybe we get a hunting party down there. No, Father Matthias went himself. Told us to stay out. What? Why? I don't know. Maybe another girl for the ritual. <sighs> we'll know more by tonight. Was blood that down there? Vladimir's in charge. What'd you expect? He loves killing. What's Father Matthias had to say? Not a damn thing. The Russians have been with him forever. We trust them. So that means they can break the rules? They make the rules, brother. Just follow along. Keep your head down. I'm gonna check things out below. You need help here! <laughs> Shit! Hey! Hey, we got a survivor! Oh, fucker. Oh, you fucker. I wanted to go stealth, but damn. Come on. Get those headshots in. Ah! Alright, where's, where's the sniper up here? Damn it. Come on, Tom. Make him count. There we go. No, fucking die. Come on. Oh, I feel like I domed him. I gotta reload. Jesus, these guys eat fucking bullets for days. That is so stupid. There we go. Headshot. Oh, Christ. Really? Really? <laughs> this is gonna like piss me off in the same way that Uncharted did, where I just feel like unless you get the headshot, these dudes just chow on bullets. At least they are giving me ammo, because I'm like Here we go. Okay, good. It is gonna be a little like Uncharted in that area. Which speaking of which I still gotta play part three. I'll do that on the channel, like I you know, I really Uncharted made me nerd rage, like part one and two, uh, definitely, because there are just certain areas and puzzles and things you fall off with that I'm like, oh damn, that is just, that hits my annoying button uh, right in the right spot there, but it's, the plot is so good that I end up just, you know, still love that game. There we go. Glass lanterns, shoot glass lanterns to break them and to catch fire. Quiet, quiet! You two, check that side! Got it. 
Get our bow ready, because you want to do this kind of stealthily here. Here we now find that we can choke a bitch, so we're going to do that. Button mash for the win! Die! There we go. Get rid of his ass too, because that wasn't where I had the problem. Okay, so at the camp, I gotta remember to check the weapons lab. Now here, I shot the fucker up there, and he totally, like, his buddy saw. He was all like, no, my buddy died! And I don't want that to happen. Oh my god, here they are. See, now they don't have this height advantage on me, so... What's a bitch to do? Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna try to see if this guy will turn around because I want to kind of stealth kill this other dude. Maybe... They're looking at each other. Hold on. We can do this. Okay, so your back's kind of turned. There we go. Alright, so they didn't hear that. And maybe two. This bro seems pretty stoic. So I'm gonna wait until this guy turns around and then... Uh, maybe get him too. Turn around. Turn around. There we go. There we go. What the fuck? Yes! No, that should have hurt you. Okay, I don't know why I wasted arrows there. I guess, like... No! You motherfucking bitch! Oh shit! Oh god! We gotta fucking go! Oh, dodge that fire! Zipline, jump towards ziplines to use them? Okay, I'm just like, that place is burning down, so fuck looting. Something tells me they'll give me plenty of dead bodies to loot from here. <laughs> Because I am just like, nope, not today. Alright, let's get through here. I can do this. Oh, shit. This is awesome. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. This makes me think of that, uh, what was it, 27 Days? That movie where the guy got stuck in the crevice? Like, I don't know much about that story, but... That would just be... I mean, to have to cut off your own damn arm. Uh, and you might have seen that movie or, you know, read that guy's story. I don't know. If, you, if not, you should definitely look it up. But the guy was like, it was essentially like mountain climbing or hiking. And he was always doing kind of like really extreme stuff like that. And he got stuck in a crevice like that. Oh, Jesus. For 27 days and wound up cutting off his, like, part of his arm to get out. It's a rock. <laughs> Now God's got nothing to do with it. It's good to see you two go. Sorry, they did a real number on your leg. Oh, no, it looks worse than it is. Have you heard from any of the others? Nothing. Wait, what are you doing? The wolves took my food pack. The transmitter from the light boat's in it. If you don't get that back, we're not getting off this bloody island. But you need you need bandages, morphine, antiseptic. And also in the pack. Shit. Exactly. Come here. Come on. Oh. Oh no. No 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 no. Oh. No. 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 Oh, don't do this to me, you northern bastard.
Look at that asshole wolf. Cry for help, find Ross Pack. Uh, that fucking asshole wolf up there. Those are the camp because we can upgrade our shit a little bit. We don't have skill points, so I don't need to fast travel. Here it is, gear. Um, upgrade. The pistol. The axe. And outfits. Okay, I need to really give a shit about the outfits right now. Let's look at the bow upgrades. Uh, reinforced limbs, reinforced bow uh, limbs allow for stronger pull and increased damage. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's get more bang for our buck on our stealth kills here. And we'll keep collecting salvage. Something tells me we're going to be needing it. All right. So we got that taken care of. Oh yeah. We got some salvage for them dead wolves too. Nice. Oh, nice. The wolf tracks are going to help us here. Alright. Let's find out what's in this pot. Oh. Alright. Fire is needed to ignite this object. Alright. Well. I got gotcha. you. I wonder if this will span multiple days or not. Or if it's all going to take place on this fateful rainy night here. Because it's just been go, go, go since we've landed. No, it's been multiple days. Sorry, it's been, I think, two days. We need to go up. Oh, alright. Burn this. I'll burn this here. Sorry if I'm using that ability a lot. Uh, I just want to make sure that I can kind of catch all the stuff that I need. Oh, that dropped a salvage crate here. I had a guy get super pissed off in The Last of Us. He was like, you just listen too much. You need to stop it. And <laughs> I wasn't aware that I was using it too much. All right, we're going to get, we're going to jump up there like that. All right, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Almost fucked that up. I won't lie. Ah! These Give me that. Come a curve period. So we're near Japan. And that's pretty cool. Okay, let's... What do we got here? Yeah, yeah. After a fortnight, I was at last granted an audience with Her Majesty, Himiko of Yamatai. I must confess, she is unlike any woman I have ever encountered. Beautiful, yet inscrutable. Calculating, even. She surrounds herself with her priestesses of the sun. No men attend her, save the general of her armies. When I met with her alone, I came to realize that she is not at all what she seems. I was sent by my lord to spy on her, to assess the strength of her armies. But now, I feel she is the one assessing me. My lord has perhaps underestimated the threat of Yamatai. Though I cannot gauge the true strength of her storm god, I cannot deny a powerful feeling that the Sun Queen should not be trifled with. Bet your ass, Bubba. 